We're actually doing this video backwards. I already took it for a test ride, but I filmed an intro and it was super windy, so you couldn't hear it. But I didn't realize before I wrote it that this one has the big bore kit on it. So this one's a 104 cubic inch motor instead of the 98 cubic inch motor, um, which makes a lot of sense. So we are test riding a 2010 Triumph Thunderbird. Test riding and riding at home for my buddy who is learning how to ride. It's got the 104 cubic inch engine. I believe that's 1600 or 1700 cc's. It's got the parallel twin. Saw a couple different uh, torque claims. Saw one for 93 and another for 107. I don't know what the heck I was looking at. My buddy's getting this bike as his first bike. Definitely an interesting choice for a first bike. I mean, to be honest with you, it totally looks like a grandpa bike. It's got huge puffy seats, which are honestly instantly comfortable. But the driver even has a backrest. Passenger has a backrest. Got some pretty big floorboards, highway bars. But my buddy's only getting this as his first bike because he got a scream and deal on it. Now this bike feels really wide. It's got a super wide gas tank feel kind of stretched out a little bit but it's pretty comfortable like I said that seat is super soft we're just leaving town right now we'll get it on the highway see how she does we'll let her rip a little bit now this bike feels kind of heavy maybe it's just because I'm not super used to it I'm used to my my 2016 victory cross country this is actually a fair amount lighter than my cross country I say my cross country is like between 860 900 pounds when it's all fueled up this is only like 747 ready to ride but it rides pretty smooth it rides really smooth shifts smooth so far she's quick I'm barely giving it any input and it gets up and goes now, like I said, I wasn't sure how much torque it makes. It's either like 92 or 107, but I would guess it's closer to that 107. I like it though, man. It's really smooth. This big seat and this backrest is super nice too. I thought it was a little cheesy to look at at first, but super comfortable, dude. She leans pretty nice too. Give her a little pull right here. Oh yeah. Really smooth. Nice and stable. It's not wandering at all. I like this man. For being a really big cruiser, it's got some really impressive stopping power. Those brakes are really nice. Um, just got off the highway. It didn't do too bad. A few things I don't like about it. I don't know if it's just the seat or if it's a bike or both, but I feel like I sit up a lot more. I was just getting hammered by the wind. It has this cheesy excuse for a windscreen does nothing. Except for it deflect more wind at me. I'm not a huge fan of how wide I sit on it, how spread out my legs are. I don't like the wrist angle of these handlebars. Make my thumb go numb. I like them a little more straight. Ideally, they'd be a little bit higher too. I also don't really like the speedometer. I don't like how low it is. It's got this little visor over the top that blocks half of it. I feel like you really have to turn your head down to look at it, which I don't, I don't like doing that. I don't like having to take my eyes so far away from the road to see the speedometer. So yeah, there's a few things ergonomics wise that I don't like about it. But as far as performance goes, dude, this thing rips. This thing makes a ton of power. I'm actually really surprised. It likes that. 
Yeah, I'm not a huge fan of the ergonomics of it, but performance wise, this thing is a beast. I didn't know the Triumphs could do this. Yeah, with a different set of bars, maybe a taller windscreen, I mean, this bike would be awesome. I don't think it's a great starter bike. Like I said, my buddy's getting this as his first bike just because my boss is selling it, gave him a deal he couldn't pass up. You know, he's been looking for a bike for a minute. This was really the only way you could swing it with a wife. But hey, there are worse bikes you can learn on. One thing I know for sure is he's not going to outgrow the power anytime soon. It's got a ton of low-end torque. And on the highway, doing pulls in the higher RPMs, man, this thing gets up and goes. This bike doesn't look like it, but twisting that throttle, this thing feels like a missile. As far as the engine goes and the power delivery and everything, transmission, this might be one of my favorite bikes that I've ever ridden, to be honest with you. It's just so smooth. Like I said, my only complaints are kind of the ergonomics on it, but different set of bars, better windscreen. I think it'll be rolling. Brady, my buddy, I, I think he's gonna like this a lot. He's gonna have a lot of fun. Might have to come borrow this bike for some joy rides. Sup, cutie? God, he's a stud. Look at him. Look at that ass. All right, guys, back on the victory now. I gotta say, I'm really impressed with that Triumph Thunderbird. I was not expecting that bike to have that much power. I'm not sure what the bike is like without the big bore kit when it's just the 98 cubic inch engine, but with the big bore kit, it's a missile. And like I said, I didn't even realize that that had a big bore kit on it when I first rode it. I did very little research before I hopped on that thing. I just hopped on to ride it home for a buddy. Figured I'd make a video about it and then realized that it had a big work kit on it. But if any of you guys are new to my channel or new to seeing my videos, your boy likes making motorcycle content. And if you wanted to give me a like or a subscribe, that would be awesome. Laters.